We're back, and here we are at the Yard Sale Electronics, as you can see by our sign. And, hmm, we have a mystery item that we found at a yard sale today. And let's take a look at it here. I see the word Graco on it, so I would venture to say it has something to do with baby product. And that's the company that sells these kinds of items. And it looks like 50 cents is what we paid for it. And let's see, it looks like there's some buttons on here. I see one, it looks like a musical note, so, hmm, it probably plays music. Let's try that button. I, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but, oh, wait, it has volume up. I guess it doesn't play too loudly. <laughs> And then it looks like a picture. It looks like a picture of a bird. So maybe it's it's some sort of sounds. I imagine. Oh, sounds like maybe some nature sounds there. Okay, it looks like a clock. Maybe it's a timer of some sort. Or. Uh, it doesn't appear to say anything, so it doesn't say the uh, time, but and this one's a light bulb, and it looks like I see a light up here that comes on. It must be like a night light, and I think it comes on down here, too. I'm not sure. And we already saw the plus and the minus for the volume up and down, looks like, yep. and the volume and it looks like it has like a little uh, not a handle but it does have it so that it must go on to something like this reaches on to it and it looks like maybe it has batteries in this little compartment here maybe what is this open up now it looks like you might have to have uh, I don't know well We'll investigate it. It just says, see instructions for warnings and use. Unfortunately, it did not come for 50 cents with instructions. Well, I went and researched about this little device here that we have, and it was the Graco company, and it looks like it's a baby device that is goes with the uh, pack and play and either goes on a playpen or a crib and, and it has the it does have the sounds and music to soothe uh, the baby but we're not going to use it right now for that we're going to disassemble it peter come on over and disassemble this let's see there are some things here that might be very useful in other electronic experiments so I think I will take this apart and examine the interior to see what things we might be able to use. The idea of playing music has value. And I believe if we tap this five times, that was one, two, three, four, five. it goes off. This is the light. We discovered that to be the environmental sounds and I'm not sure how the timer would work. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It looks like the battery must be in here but to remove the battery cover we loosen these screws from the other side one two and this I thought it would come off well we'll loosen a few more screws maybe take this out another notch 
Not quite. Well, there goes the sound. It's soothing. I guess. Try this one. Oh, I just hit the light switch too. I'll take that screw off. I think I'll just take every screw out. See how how that leads to. These recessed screws are always a little difficult. Hmm, this one's very difficult. And a little more soothing. There it goes. I'm still not quite sure how that uh, battery screw Yeah, finally There's a little lens piece There's a speaker couple of lights. I'm not sure what type those are. Looks like some variation on incandescent. Keep that music going, huh? <laughs> Ever so nice. I don't see what is holding this. Do you see a screw? Maybe I just have to Keep taking that screw out too. It's a long one. This one? Mm. That's about as far out as that's gonna go. Huh. Maybe this pops off. It does. So that just reveals the last screw. So we have all of these plastic pieces, five screws, another plastic piece, switch covers, a little circuit board which probably contains all the audio, it must contain all the audio, but to remove that, you'd have to remove the battery connectors. I'm not so sure we want to take this apart any further right now. Just leave it like this and come back to it when we think we need those parts. And thus ends another Yard C. Adventure.